everyone, welcome to today's video, which is going to be a very chatty get ready with me. I have a lot of content to film today for Instagram and for TikTok, and I believe my Venus, the clothing for my Venus video is supposed to arrive today. So I have got to get all dolled up and I figured if I am going to apply the makeup, why not just sit down in front of the camera and talk to you guys while I do it. And I thought that a good thing to do would be to sort of have a 2022 year in review or rewind and share with you guys some of the ups and downs that I have had throughout the year. One of the things that happened this year is I feel like I have gotten a little bit closer with you guys, my Risa Does Makeup family. It's not that I felt like we didn't have a tight community here, but honestly in the past year, because I have been going through some health struggles, thankfully nothing life-threatening or horrible, but I really opened myself up a lot more and you guys have all been so receptive to it and so encouraging and I don't know, I just feel a lot more connected with my Risa Does Makeup family and I really hope you do too. Now, before I get into the get ready with me, I do have a sponsor for today's video, which is Factor. I have spoken about Factor meals many times on my channel. I am a Factor partner, and I decided to work with them multiple times this year and going into next year because I just love their meals so much. Factor meals have helped me to maintain my weight throughout this year, which I've really, really struggled with, especially being in my late 40s. I've gone through a lot of changes this year, and I've noticed that if I don't eat healthy, nutritious meals, my weight will creep up. And I think that's pretty obvious. If you want to maintain your weight or lose weight, you have to eat purposefully, you have to have nutritious meals, you can't be snacking all day long, which is so tempting, especially when you work from home like I do. So not only does Factor offer simple solutions when I'm too busy, to cook or just don't want to, they help me stay on top of my goals. In addition to ready to eat meals, Factor offers delicious smoothies, veggie sides, and more to keep me energized during these very hectic holiday times. Factor is so flexible, I can easily adjust my order size. I can even skip a week. Factor offers keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, vegan, and veggie options. There's no prep, no mess. On this day, I chose the sage chicken and maple butter sweet potatoes. All you have to do is puncture some holes in the packaging, pop it in the microwave for two minutes, and voila, you have a ready to eat, delicious and nutritious meal. And Factor is now owned by HelloFresh, which my family also uses. Being a Factor slash HelloFresh household has just made my life so much easier. It cuts down on the grocery shopping, it's cheaper than getting takeout, and it's the holidays, so who doesn't wanna be saving a little money anywhere they can? So if you'd like to try Factor, head to go.factor75.com slash Risa60 and use the code Risa60 to get 60% off your first Factor box. It's time to do some makeup and chat about 2022. I cannot believe that this year is almost over. It went by so crazy fast. Every year seems to go by faster and faster. It feels like when you're young, the days just kind of, I don't know, they're just a lot slower. And I think it was once I had kids that I really felt like the days just flew by and every year it just gets faster and faster, I feel. So I don't remember what I did. Oh yes, I do. On New Year's Eve 2021 into 2022, I remember I went to dinner with just my husband and my kids. We don't, we're not big New Year's Eve people. Um, we just, I don't know, people put so much pressure on themselves to have this incredible time on New Year's Eve and do something like amazing. And then you see people posting about it. And if you've stayed home, you might have FOMO. And if you don't know what FOMO means, I'll put it on the screen for you. Um, yeah, I, that's been me many a New Year's because my husband doesn't like to go out for New Year's. I, on the other hand, love getting dressed up. But I mean, I agree with his logic. He says, you know, everything is just so overpriced and it's crowded and, you know, it's always just not a letdown, but like anticlimactic, I guess. I don't know. But this year, this year, we are going on a dream 
trip to London and Paris, and we will be in Paris for New Year's Eve. I am so excited. We are taking our kids. My son, my youngest son, graduated from high school last year, and we didn't really do anything for it. He didn't want um, a party or anything. He just wanted to go on a trip, and he was supposed to go to Israel in July on the birthright trip, but he got COVID the day before he was to leave on the trip. Thankfully, my older son tested negative and he was able to go, but it was so devastating for my younger son because, you know, he's been super excited to go to Israel for the past prior six months. We booked the trip like in February, January or February, and we had just been talking about it and talking about it. So anyway, now he gets to go to London and Paris. So he's very excited. We're all very excited. My younger son is not a beach person. He's just, he doesn't like tropical locations. We told him, you know, well, we can go anywhere you want to go. I mean, it's your graduation and I'm going to be turning 50 next year. So, um, yeah, I guess it's a celebration of both his graduation and me turning 50. I cannot believe I'm saying that. I feel like I just had my 40th birthday. And for my 40th birthday, we took a trip to um, Turkey and to Greece with some friends and it was amazing. I'm seriously just trying to wrap my brain around how that was 10 years ago almost. That's just crazy. That is just crazy. So I'm super excited for this trip. We haven't booked a New Year's Eve um, dinner yet, although I already have a dress, of course. And of course it's super glam, super sparkly. My travel agent had emailed the, um, the concierge at the hotel we're staying at to inquire about New Year's Eve reservations. And he had said that none of the restaurants released their um, menus or the reservations yet for that night. So we are patiently waiting to book something for New Year's kind of fancy. I want the boys, I want all of us to kind of dress up. Oh, this hair, this hair is just fantastic, isn't it? Um, we're going to dress up. We also have a family photo shoot scheduled for Paris. I found this photographer actually on TikTok. Another family had posted their photos from their family photo shoot and it just looked amazing. And so I reached out to her, the photographer, and I said, you know, how are photos in the winter like are they still good so she sent me a bunch of images from winter photo shoots that she had done and they looked really good really good so i'm really looking forward to that i do have to get my boys some outfits to wear and i told them when i booked the shoot i said you will wear what i tell you to wear <laughs> and they were on board they're like okay mom they're so sweet as they get older they're definitely um, more fun to hang out with. And uh, yeah, I, I really I feel like I have a really good relationship with them. Um, sometimes, you know, of course we, we fight, but most of the time, um, yeah, I really am happy to be around them. My younger son comes home for Thanksgiving. I'm filming this before Thanksgiving. This might not go up until after Thanksgiving, but, um, by the way, this is the Maybelline Fit Me, ooh, Fit Me Powder. So I am beyond excited to see my younger son who went off to college in August. Haven't seen him since August. And I just, oh, I'm gonna start crying if I talk about it too much. Um, we are not empty nesters though, my husband and I. We are not. My older son is, uh, you know, I don't want to talk about it too much because it's his business and I really don't feel comfortable like sharing their business on YouTube. I can share mine, but not, you know, my kids. But what I will tell you is that he has been struggling a little bit trying to figure out what he wants to do. He did go to college. He started at UNLV and then COVID hit. And um, you know what? I'm going to do my brows off camera and then come back because it's just too difficult for me to do on camera. And with the pain I still have in my left arm, it just, it's 
just easier if I do it off camera and then we'll come right back to this topic. All right, brows are done. So back to um, my older son and college. COVID hit in obviously March of 2020 and um, everything went online and he was not a big fan of the online learning. And then the following year, everything was still online that fall and we actually transferred him out of UNLV to the College of Southern Nevada because I had heard that the same professors that were teaching at UNLV were teaching at CSN and if both are online, why should we pay the UNLV tuition when we can pay a much lower community college tuition? So he did the College of Southern Nevada classes online. By the way, I am going to be using this new MAC holiday palette that I just got about a week ago. Haven't used it yet. It is called, what is this called? Where is the name? Oh, I Love Surprises Eyeshadow Palette Times Six Sparkling Wine Splash. Ooh, very pretty. So he did complete courses online from 2021, no, 2020 into 2021. So he does have two full years of school under his belt, but he has told us that he um, does not want to go back to college, that college just wasn't for him. And I'm okay with that, you know? I don't think that everybody has to go to college to be successful. It's been proven that you don't have to go to college to be successful. I would like him to finish, at least get an associate's degree. But, um, you know, he's 21 now and he got his bartending license. He loves sports. He's a good worker and I know he will find the right job for him, I want him to be happy. We all want our kids to be happy, right? But we also, you know, don't want them to be lazy. We want them to know the value of, you know, working hard and we don't want him living off of us forever, even though I know he doesn't want that for himself. But anyway, he's still living at home. We have actually one of the few homes in Las Vegas that has a basement. So I used to film down in the basement, but um, I moved up here because I was so tired of taking my stuff up and down the stairs and then the Wi-Fi wasn't very good down in the basement. So anyway, we moved him down there. So he has sort of like his own little apartment, I would say down there. He's very, he's very lucky and very spoiled. I'm not gonna lie. But um, my husband and I try pretty much daily to motivate him and yeah, I don't know if anybody has any advice for me on how to properly, or how to just motivate a pretty immature, I would say, a uh, 21 year old to kind of get his act together. Um, but yeah, that is something that we have struggled with lately. He actually was offered a job as a bar back at one of the local resorts. But when he told them that he was going to be away over Christmas and New Year's because we are going from December 26th to January 5th, they were like, uh, no. Which I understand, you know, businesses want people that can work over the holidays. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this eyeshadow primer just right here because I wanna really intensify the shimmer I'm gonna put on. Uh, so yeah. The bottom line is, what I'm trying to say is, we are not empty nesters. And I'm, you know, a part of me is okay with that. I really do like having him here. I enjoy my time with him. But yeah, he's gotta, he's gotta get his own life going. What am I gonna use, what am I gonna use? I think maybe I'll use the silver right here. So let's get back to talking about the year that was and things that happened to me this year. Oh, that's not very, not very sparkly. I thought it would be like, hmm. I thought it would be sparkly. It looks like it would be sparkly. It's not sparkly. Uh, okay. Okay. So I'm going to try wetting the brush. See what happens there. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? 
I am on medication for my neck, my pinched nerve, and it's giving me a good deal of brain fog. Oh, we we're talking about things that happened to me last year. The first few months started off great with my, um, with work. I had, you know, some good, pretty recurring sponsorships with Walmart and Nordstrom. And then suddenly, I think it was around April, March or April, they stopped reaching out to me for collabs. Just dropped like a hot potato. And I don't think it was because of, you know, obviously these brands look at, you know, how much you're selling for them, you know, how much business you're bringing them. And I know because of my analytics that I was definitely bringing them business. You know, you guys were buying the things I was showing and, you know, I, I didn't really understand why I was kind of just dropped. I have recently started working with Walmart again, but mostly on Instagram. Nordstrom, no. And I found out that they were offering like ambassadorships to certain content creators. So you may have seen, you may be seeing a lot of content creators do videos for Walmart and Nordstrom on a monthly basis. That's because they are ambassadors for Nordstrom and or Walmart. And I was not selected to be one of those. You know, and that's okay. I still shop at Nordstrom and Walmart. As I said, I have been working with Walmart, you know, on some fashion uh, on Instagram. But um, why is that this brow does not look good? Something's up with this brow. Um, but yeah, I mean, as a creator, when you see other content creators, like getting, I guess, work that you're not getting, that you feel like you should be getting, it hurts a little. You kind of think, well, what's wrong with me? But that's okay. You know what? It's been nice, kind of nice, not having those monthly commitments and being able to put out the content that I want to put out. I mean, anytime I have a sponsorship, I always make sure that it is in content that I feel good about, that I really like and that I think you guys will like. So, um, yeah, I just, I lost my train of thought. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna do some winged liner using this black shade right here. And uh, again, I'm gonna do that off camera just because it's way too difficult for me to do on camera. I always end up out of the frame. Okay, so I do like this as eyeliner. It's kind of like an off, black. It's not a true black, but that's okay. Maybe I'll go over it with some liquid liner once I have on my lashes. I don't know. Um, what I do want to do is put a little bit of this color in the tear ducts. Mm, it's a little too yellow. I don't know if I'm liking this palette very much definitely not wowing me. Maybe I should have used something that I knew would be good. Oh boy. Um, you know what? I have my Tartlet Toasted palette sitting right here. I think I'm going to go into this palette and kind of fix things, fix the way things are going. Yeah, now that's a shimmer. That, my friends, is a shimmer. And I'm also going to take ivory and put this under my brow. Again, this is the Tartlet Toasted palette. I just happen to have it sitting near my desk, my workstation, filming station. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of it here too. I'm also going to go back in with this tiny brush and touch up the outer corners of my eyes. Yeah, this is not my favorite look. Oh well. Everything is fixable. Trust. Everything is fixable. Um, okay. Where were we? Oh, brand deals. Yeah. 
you know, I always figure the right opportunities will come to me and the wrong ones will, you know, disappear. And I really feel like this past year, I have worked with companies and brands like Factor that really are um, well suited to me and my lifestyle. Oh gosh, what color did I just use? You guys, what is happening here? What is happening? Okay, this is totally changing the look. Totally changing the look. And now I want some liquid liner. Definitely needs liquid liner. All right, that's so much better. And I think it sort of saved the look. I just used this um, Physician's Formula liquid eyeliner. And now I'm going to curl my lashes and then apply some mascara. Um, oh, I'm also going to tight line. Well, I'm using a pencil from Sigma. And then I'm gonna use this Grande Lash Mascara. I've really been loving this stuff because I am too lazy and forgetful to use lash serums on a regular basis. Even though so many of you have told me, Risa, get the Grande Lash Serum, it's amazing. Uh, maybe I will, maybe I will. I know it's on sale. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm pretty sure that I got an email recently from Grande Cosmetics stating that they saw the video that I did where I recommended this product and they wanted to send me the serum. I think I need to go find that email. And that definitely happens sometimes as a YouTuber. Brands will watch your videos and if they see themselves mentioned, you know, they're, they obviously get pretty excited and, um, you know, want to have you perhaps show more of their products. That's something that's kind of interesting to me and I've spoken about it a little bit on my channel. And this is not like a complaint at all because I'm, I'm fine with it. I just find it interesting that I personally don't get a lot of PR. I'm going to take the shade right here and run it along my lower lash lines. Um, I see people with much smaller channels than mine get PR from like every brand, Bobbi Brown, Armani, Huda Beauty, you name the brand, they're getting tons of um, PR. And I, for some reason, do not. But when I see all these other influencers getting this PR, I think of the silver lining of that which is I don't have to deal with all the um, packaging, the packages that come in. I see people that go on vacation and they come back and they've got like a room full of boxes stacked up that they received, you know, from, they received PR packages and it takes them like a week to get through it. And then their recycling bin is completely full because they've gotten so much packaging. And there's a lot of waste too, because I personally donate. I finally got an assistant this year. Um, I don't know why I waited so long. It's been incredible. She's so helpful. And she takes the donations for me down to the women's shelter. But I don't know if everybody does that. Hopefully, oh gosh, hopefully they do. Um, because they just, they get, they get so much. So I don't know, I guess it's maybe a good thing that I get a mediocre amount. You know what I wanted to try today that I didn't try? This Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Setting Powder. So I think I'm just gonna dust it through my T-zone even though I did already use some of that Fit Me powder. I wanna try this as well. Just, why not? Why not, playing around here. I just wanna see if it blurs. Oh, oh, huh, oh my goodness. Oh, way too much what happened there, oh my goodness. Oh my God, what the heck just happened? How did, how did I do that? Oh boy. It is definitely blurring. Oh, I like this. I'm afraid to put it under my eyes though, because I, like I said, I do have a lot of content to film today, photos to take, so I wanna make sure I don't have any flashback under the eyes. Well, I guess I just did put a little bit right there, but okay. Well, 
I tried it. I like it. I'll try it again. Maybe tomorrow. I'm going to bronze up a little bit. And I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video or not, but I'm trying to use a combination of new products and products that I haven't used in quite a long time. And I have not used this Guerlain Terracotta bronzer in a really long time. I actually forgot I had it. This used to be a super popular product back in the day. And for good reason, it's really a fantastic bronzer. Guerlain is a beautiful line, I think. I don't know if they still make the Lingerie de Peau foundation, but that was one of my favorites. I don't know where mine is. My assistant just finished um, this whole area over here with, it's not perfect, so I'm not showing it just yet, but she organized everything for me. And um, I went a couple months ago onto the Ikea website because I wanted to get that set up that pretty much everybody has with the, the tall um, drawers and all that, the clear front that you know you pull out. I can't remember, not the Alex drawers, they're called something else, but um, they're on back order until April of next year. They're completely unavailable at any Ikea, at least in the US. So uh, yeah, we've had to just kind of make do and I bought some just, you know, shelving units, one from Target, one from the container store. I probably should have bought them from the same place so they looked the same, but oh well. Yeah, it's not very aesthetically pleasing right now, which is why I'm not showing it to you. This is the Tower 28 Blush Hour in Golden Hour. Um, but I should see if she found my Guerlain Lingerie de Peau foundation. Another new to me Laura Mercier product that I'm going to try is this Celestial Light Loose Powder. This has some glow to it. So let's see if we can just use this as the highlighter. Yeah, look at that. Pretty. Ooh. Ooh, I really like that. It has sort of a pinky shift to it. Oh, I like. I'm gonna put a little under my brow, a little bit here, here. Oh, I like this a lot. And obviously in a container like this, it will last a really, really long time. That is very, very pretty. Oh, I've gotta fix this brow off camera. Something is really weird about it. But you know I'm gonna come back after we do the lips and the lashes with my hair done and with an outfit on. So it will miraculously be fixed with the magic of editing. Now it's time for lashes. I got this the other day. It is the Ardell Naked Lash Vault. I've already tried one style for 30. I think I'm gonna try today 423, 421 and 423 look exactly the same. Okay, so I'm going to take the lash and measure it. Oh boy. Do I want the whole lash? Do I want part of the lash? I think I'm gonna cut off a little bit. I'm gonna pop these on and come right back. All right, lashes are on. We are almost done. It's time to do lips. And I'm going to use one of my new favorite lip liners. This is Toffee To Be from L'Oreal. It's the Color Riche Lip Pencil. It's just such a great nude, nudie brown, I guess. I haven't used the brand Jouer in a really long time, but I have a few of their glosses that are really good. And I think today I'm going to go with PCH. This is a high pigment gloss, so you don't have to use a lip product underneath if you don't want to. Oh, it's peachier than I thought. Oh, that's okay. I'm not even sure you heard what I said. I was sort of mumbling while I was applying it. What I said was it's peachier than I thought it would be, but uh, I like it actually. I may have used a, I might have used a peachier lip liner had I known how peachy pink this was, but it still works. Okay, I think we're done. 
I'm gonna go fix my hair, put on some clothes, come back and close out this get ready with me. Here's the finished look in natural light. And that brings us to the end of this chatty get ready with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanna thank you all for being so encouraging and supportive throughout this past year. I will have a lot more end of the year content coming soon. Let me know in the comments if there's anything specific you'd like to see. I always do, you know, best high-end makeup of the year, best drugstore makeup of the year, top 10 products of the year. Let me know what you are especially looking forward to seeing. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget if you want to try Factor Meals, the link is down below in the description box. Use my code RISA60 for 60% off your first box. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and join the Risa Does Makeup family. We would love to have you. You can also find more content from me over on Instagram and TikTok. I have the same username everywhere. It's Risa Does Makeup. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. <music>